I'm Mallory, and you may recognize me from a few of these videos. Planting carrots. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Monster potatoes. And a little bit of forestry videos from our old previous homestead. In my last video, I mentioned that unfortunately things happened and I am now going to pursue this channel as a single mom. And I found an echo village to live on and to build my cabin. So this is me starting over from scratch and I have a few things to talk to you about as we begin this process and I bring you with me. I do have an offer accepted, signed and everything for my property on the echo village. So here's how it goes. I will have a lot of 35,000 square feet. I can bring my horse, I can build a cabin. I could have even, I wanted to have originally have a yurt on the property, but as I was speaking to fellow YouTubers that build cabins and stuff for the resale value for me, it is not quite worth it because I am planning on building eventually. So I am going to literally just begin the process. I have to say I am overwhelmed and so happy and appreciative of everybody that tuned into my last video and all the comments and the prayers that you have sent me. It is not going to be easy. It's, uh, you know, I've been a stay at home mom for almost 10 years now and I have to start completely over from scratch. I'm still in school. I am studying to be a massage therapist. And uh, so I have a, a little bit of good news for you guys. As I'm beginning this process, my uh, schooling can be done part-time. So that is awesome. I can fit that in. Also, I was looking for an apartment because I have until July 1st, 2024 to get out of this beautiful home that we bought last May. And uh, I did find a place. One of my uh, friends, new friends, offered me a room in her home and she's not too far away from the house so the kids will be close to school. They won't have to change anything in their environment for you know the stress and everything. I want to limit that for them as much as possible. And so she's going to be keeping us at her place. I'm going to have the kids one week out of two because Ben, you know, even though our relationship didn't work, he's still a great father to our kids. Um, you know, it just didn't work out between both of us. The harmony is not there anymore. So it'll be good to be near the village so that the kids can still have their school and friends. So I'm going to show you the Echo Village in just a few minutes. But first, I need to tell you guys that I am uh, on a tight budget. So I'm literally going to try to do this mortgage free. It'll take the time that I have to. I have a few options uh, as well. So I'm going to talk to and get into the details. So right now uh, I'm going to get notarized on the 25th of April for the property. So that's actually when I'll be able to start actually working on the land. I did go and uh, it's raw. It's completely raw. There's a lot of trees. There's a lot of clearing to do. So it's going to I have a lot of work on my plate for that. In the meantime, I have to draw out my plans. I'm going to build a 20 by 20 cabin two story without a basement. And so that, that'll give me the potential to add on to it as, as we go. Uh, I do have a camping site with a trailer that I can also go to to escape a little bit just to have a little breather. And by the end of the season, I'm thinking of either I sell it to have more money for the build or either I bring it to the property so that I have a place to, to actually like just be on the spot this summer. So I'm, I'm, I'm just still thinking about those little logistics of the thing. And uh, after that, I also have to rebuild my algorithm on this channel because I have been away for a little while because of everything that's been happening in my personal life. And so the big thumbs up, the comments, everything helps me a ton to get this pushed out in the YouTube algorithm. Here is the Echo Village. This is what the Echo Village looks like. Here is the main road when we come from my places here. You come in, this is a private road that we do have to maintain uh, for the snow and you know just taking care of it. So us as people that live in the Echo Village, we have to, we're responsible for the maintenance of this road. I am looking at this property right here. Okay, it's 35,000 square feet and everything around it, that's in like in the pink dot, that is common land that we all can use. And right here, there's going to be a food forest. We're gonna clear it out, build it together. There's a community garden that's gonna be here, maybe greenhouse. 
And like I'm telling you, the, we are pioneers of this uh, Echo Village right now. So like, the, there's literally nothing. The, the the owner, the guy that started, the founder of this Echo Village is here and he's going to be uh, building an earth ship house, which is really cool. There's already a mini house right here. In this property, there's a guy from France and his wife that are still in France right now. I don't think they're gonna build this summer due to family um, health issues, but they are going to be, well, they bought this property here. There's another girl that bought a property here that she's gonna be putting a yurt on the property. The founder of the Echo Village has built it up as a, an enterprise. So if he sells a few uh, bits of land, then that goes into the enterprise. And then if he has a good amount of money, then he can say, okay guys, let's do a vote. What are we gonna do with this money? Are we gonna build a community kitchen so we can go canning together? Are we, what are we gonna do with it? So that's really cool. And it's also going to be used as a learning center. So if we build it up good enough, we will be able to get grants from the government, well, the founder of the of the company, we'll be able to get grants from the government so that we can actually use this as a learning center, which is really cool too. So yeah, I have a lot of work on my plate, guys. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm doing okay, everything's working out. And I also, I'm so grateful for the community that I've built here. I have a friend who is uh, really good in construction. He's also a veteran. So he has a lot of time this summer to help me out to build my cabin. So we're gonna be seeing a lot of Sunny around. He speaks French, but he's a really funny, he's like a big teddy bear. So him and his wife, uh, they offered a lot of time to help out. And uh, so yeah, everything is looking good from here. I can't wait to uh, keep you guys updated. I'm gonna show you what the, the Echo Village looks like as soon as I get out there. Right now, we got dumped on with snow. Like, I, I swear we have like three feet of snow everywhere. And as of today, we are the 25th of March. So yeah, um, <laughs> we're, it's, gonna, it's gonna take a while for it to melt and for me to actually go, you know, walk it. I'm gonna go source out the water. I'm gonna get a well dug out. I'm gonna, it's gonna be a lot of work. I have a motorcycle that I could also sell uh, to help, you know, for the materials and stuff. But for now, I want to hold off on selling anything that I can. I just really want to work with the money that I have on hand and work on my budget. But you all know that when we're building something, there are surprises. So I'm just going to keep those in my back pocket for now and keep going to school. So thank you guys for being here. Thank you for hitting the thumbs up and I will keep you posted.